Horizon Zero Dawn burst onto the scene in 2017, providing a new IP to the PlayStation which went down a treat with fans. Its bizarre mix of futuristic prehistory in a massive open world setting brimming with quests, upgrades, loot, and things to do, alongside its immediately lovable protagonist Alloy, provided players with a new package for many familiar and popular gameplay types. Welcome to Zero Deaths. Here are 15 things you probably didn't know about Horizon Zero Dawn. Number 1. It was an immediate hit. Horizon was certainly an anticipated game, but it surprised us to find out that it immediately became the biggest new IP launch Sony has seen for their platform, surpassing No Man's Sky, selling as many as 117,000 copies in its first week in Japan alone. But the most interesting tidbit of information here is that it became the second most downloaded game from the PS4 store in the US in February. But that is considering that the launch occurred on the last day of February. Now that is definitely quite impressive. Number two humanizing the machine. One of the main reasons so many picked it up, undoubtedly, was this new bizarre mix of prehistoric animal robots. Interestingly, there only exists one machine in the game that was given a name by its hunters. That is Red Maw, a Thunderjaw. Red Maw is the legendary Thunderjaw who killed countless hunters, while being the only machine that could possibly dispose of Assis, the game's antagonist. But this humanization of the machine certainly shows an interesting avenue for the series' future. Number 3. The Hidden Ancient Armory Although much of the playtime is spent scouring the desolate landscape for its secrets, the Ancient Armory is one which is too often missed by players. In order to get here, players must first activate the quest by picking up any of the five power cells scattered throughout the world, four of which are hidden throughout the main story. But even if you found one of these throughout your playthrough, many players are confused about what they do. Well, that'd be telling. But figuring that out would certainly help you in your fight against the machines. Number 4. God Mode any PC Elder Scrolls player will remember the infinitely useful TGM console input, which toggled God Mode, allowing you to carry as much as you want and take no damage. Functions like these are certainly more difficult to activate on console, often being entirely impossible. Although Horizon's fabled God Mode isn't half as useful, it does allow you to fly anywhere on the map, unobstructed. Unfortunately, it's not quite as simple as typing in a console command. It requires some precise and fiddly movements at a specific point on the map. You can find out how to do it yourself here. It's pretty cool to be able to fly anywhere, even out of bounds, but to be honest, it's not really that useful. Number 5. Unlimited Fast Travel Similar to God Mode, this can help you get anywhere fast, but perhaps is much more useful. The world of Zero Dawn is undoubtedly hugely fun to explore, but it can be pretty boring having to retrace your steps the whole time. And unlike most open world games, fast travel here is not free. You need scavenge for fast travel packs each time. However, if you're using the feature a lot, you can upgrade to gold. I know, it sounds like a subscription package. Where travel becomes unlimited. Simply head to Meridian and one of the merchants can sell you a golden fast travel pack, which will set you back quite a few resources, but in the end, it's worth it. Number 6. Golden Weapons you can also get your hands on a bunch more gold than the game, in the form of Golden Weapon skins. Of course, this collectible requires some amount of grafting, asking you to earn Blazing Suns, the highest score, in all 15 Hunting Grounds trials found across the world. It's pretty difficult, and requires some good reflexes. But the added bling is certainly worth it for those diehard fans. Number 7. Colorado? Utah? Arizona? Where are we? There's a reason they left fast travel somewhat out of the game, and that's to let you explore the environment in great detail. Given that the game occurs in the far future American landscape, there are still a few remnants of modern human life littered around. You can find Hallett Peak in the Rocky Mountains, the Cheyenne Mountain Nuclear Bunker, and even the Denver Broncos Stadium while a number of landmarks throughout Utah and Arizona can also be found. Of course, the geography is all quite skewed, but it's a nice touch to retain these real-world places. Keep an eye out next time you're playing and let us know what you see. Number 8. Strange Whirlpool Speaking of landmarks, one in particular grabbed the attention of players, and that is a mysterious whirlpool off the map's eastern coastline. It's in plain sight making us think it's certainly there for a reason. But as it is outside of the playable area, it remains somewhat a mystery, and there are certainly a whole lot more mysteries within the world. Number 9. Death Stranding Collectibles Hideo Kojima's Death Stranding was a seriously anticipated game, 
even back in 2017, so it's interesting to see little hints of the game throughout Horizon Zero Dawn. You can find the dog tags Norman Reedus' character wears, the stranded shackles, which are handcuffs worn by many characters throughout Death Stranding, and even a creepy disfigured doll. Not only can you find them as little easter eggs, but you can even collect them and trade them in for very rare modifications, and, well, some wet socks, which still baffle us. Number 10. Jazz Jackrabbits Hunting is, of course, a mainstay of the fight for survival in Horizon Zero Dawn, but one of the most interesting fauna to be found are two little rabbits who just stand around instead of hopping away like all the rest. If you scan them, you can find them to be called Jack and Jazz, a reference to Arjun Bruce, who co-founded the Guerrilla Game Studio. Bruce was the lead coder on the 90s classic Jazz Jackrabbits, and yeah, that's who these two reference, only now in crisp high-poly 3D. Number 11. Killzone Coffee Mug Lots of us remember the PlayStation-exclusive Killzone franchise, which was peddled alongside both the PS3 and PS4 as exclusives, and less so for its beginnings in the PS2. Well, like Jack and Jazz Rabbit, this is another reference to Guerrilla Games' legacy, as they were the developers for this iconic franchise. If you are a stickler for 100%ing games, you're likely to have come across the KZ Vessel, which the future dwellers of Horizon fail to recognize as a coffee mug, just as we are often confused about ancient vessels we uncover. Either way, it seems funny to include a Killzone mug, given the franchise died back in 2013 with the launch of the PS4. Perhaps Guerrilla are acknowledging that the series is a thing of the past. Number 12. The Triforce Okay, so at this point it becomes eminently clear that Horizon is littered with loads of nods to other gaming franchises. But one of the most bizarre for sure is the Legend of Zelda Triforce, which can be found in multiple places around the map. It's especially bizarre as the almost PlayStation-exclusive company has never worked with Nintendo as Guerrilla Games. But as the company evolved from Lost Boys Games in 2003, who made games for Nintendo's Game Boy, it is clear the company has a soft spot for Nintendo. Number 13. Nuclear Bunker we already mentioned the Cheyenne Mountain nuclear bunker when talking about the world's warped American geography, but this is certainly one of the most interesting and useful hidden areas in the game. Found near the Nora hunting grounds, there's a deep, dark hole in the ground. Jumping in, you'll land in a small pool of water facing a mysterious bunker. Today, the bunker is an unincorporated military installation and defensive bunker, which has spawned countless conspiracy theories surrounding it, being a nuclear facility which is still in use to warn the American public about potential missile threats to North America. Number 14. Skeletal Lovers Casual players often miss a lot of the little details littered around the landscape, and these small, human skeletons holding hands is certainly one of these. Not only because it is quite small, but it also requires a bit of parkour to get there. But when players do approach the skeletons, some somber music starts, providing some context for the story surrounding their history. Some suggest that it could be a reference to Silent Hill, and given the game's tendency to reference other franchises, we think this isn't too much of a stretch. Number 15. A prize for going platinum. We all love trophies and achievements, and hunting them has taken up far more hours than their digital plaques are worth, especially when going platinum getting all the achievements. In most games, results in nothing but a notification and a badge on your profile. However, Horizon Zero Dawn is different, providing players who go platinum with an email, allowing you to download your shiny special bonus prize. I won't spoil what it is here, but just know, this is one instance where going platinum nets you more than just personal satisfaction. With Horizon Forbidden West slowly revealing more and more of itself, this is certainly the perfect time to experience the wonder and mastery of Horizon Zero Dawn's beautiful landscape and narrative. Although fans have spent countless hours trawling through this world, we're sure there are still some hidden secrets within it that devs hid just that little bit more. So let us know if you found anything interesting. Either way, we look forward to diving back into Horizon's prehistoric future in the next generation of consoles. For more great gaming videos and lists like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so you never miss a thing. We selected this video for you to watch next.